this invisible God was made flesh and dwelt among us because he cared for our soul. He loved us. So while we were yet still sinners, Christ died for us so that we wouldn't have to perish in our sin. You see, a lot of you are out here, you're fornicating, you're drinking, you're lustful, you're living in idolatry, drunkenness, and drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of heaven, my friend. I'm here to warn you that there's a way. The way is narrow, but the way to hell is broad, and many enter in. you got to repent. you got to be, be born again. Acts 2.38 tells us how to be born again. We must repent and turn to Jesus for the remission of sins, be baptized in the name of Jesus, and we'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The thing is, you can't turn from sin in your own strength. You must repent and surrender to Jesus, and He will take your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. He'll change your desires. You won't want to live a sinful life anymore. Many of you, you're broken, you're hurting. You're hurting and you're looking to fill that void inside. I know because I was just like you. I was just like that. Fornicating, living in drunkenness, addicted to drugs. I used to get high every day. I used to sell drugs. But let me tell you, Jesus changed my life. He saved me. He gave me peace in my soul. Hey, you can love he gave Jesus. me a new you heart. No, you gotta repent. And the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of heaven, my friend. You gotta repent while there's still time. Jesus is coming through, and every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. It's good news. We're not out here saying we're better than any of you. I know what it's like to be lost and broken and hurting, and I and not care and be fornicating and be drinking and drunk and and getting high every day. But listen, there's another way, a way of love, a way that leads to life. John 10, 10 said Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly. You ain't got to live a broken life, depressed, anxious, fearful, fornicating, getting high to forget your problems, worrying every day, lost, hurting. You can give your burdens to Jesus. Matthew 11, 28 says, come to me, all you who labor and are heavy burdened, and I will give you rest. If you want rest today, come talk to us. We will pray for you, man. Jesus cares for you. He died on the cross for your sins. Come talk to us. We'll pray with you. You can receive deliverance tonight from the chains that have you bound. Don't waste another day. Because you don't know that if you, you might die tonight on the way home. You might die from a drug overdose. You don't know. And what will you say when you stand before God? What will you say? Because the Bible says it is appointed once for man to die and next for judgment. We all will face judgment one day. And that is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. He's alive and he's coming again soon. We are in the end time. Repent while there's still time and turn from this wickedness. There's another way. There's a way that may seem right to man, but the path leads to hell, and hell is open wide. You gotta repent. The way is narrow, and Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. First John tells us that if we say we know Jesus and we walk in darkness, we're a liar, and the truth is not in us. Don't be double-minded and a hypocrite because you know what god is going to spit the lukewarm out of his mouth and many on that day will come to him and say lord lord and knocking and wanting to enter into his rest enter into the kingdom of heaven and he will say depart from me i never knew you you who work iniquity you gotta turn from your sins you gotta surrender your life to jesus you gotta be done sir are you done tonight you can be done tonight. You can trust in Jesus tonight. You can be delivered and set free. Jesus loves you. He died for you, sir. He died to set you free. He died to give you hope and a future. And Christ affirms us, making us a sure thing in Him. Giving us life and life more abundantly. 